Welcome to part one of Zombie Side. Uh, I'm doing a three character playthrough with Ned, Amy, and Doug. And they are sitting right here ready to go. So the first thing we do is of course the survivors go. So I'm going to do Amy first because she has a free move action. So here she is. With her little uh, katana. And her first free move action is to move from this space to this one. And then she has three actions. All heroes at the beginning level have three actions. So I'm just going to move her one, two, three, right to the center of town. Okay, next I'm going to do uh, Doug. And Doug has got the little blue double Uzi uh, model. He has three actions. So I'm going to move him one, two, three. And lastly, we have Ned in bright red. And he has uh, a crowbar. And he's going to go one, two, three, and join Doug at the at that section. Now, as per the rules, I have a spawn zone in the north. There's one on the east, south, and there's one over here in the west. I roll one die, and because I'm using three characters, there will be a spawn happening on a one, two, or three, and no spawn on a four, five, six. So for the north, there will be no spawn going on. The east, there will be no spawn. The south there will be and the west there will be so as you can see right off the bat we're going to have two spawns one in the south and one in the west so let me just readjust the camera and we'll get the spawns happening so here we are in the south spawn zone so the first card we're going to look at for spawning is this one it's time to kick some butt however we're in the blue section right now and it says few so nothing happens we have zero zombies over here on the west we have oh, the next spawn card does have something in the blue now and this time it is one fatty and of course when the fatties appear they always show up with two walkers so what we're going to have now is we're going to have a fatty and two walkers and they appear over here in the west okay that's basically Turn one, um, and now we're going to head into the survivors doing some more action. So I'm just going to, I guess I can leave the camera right here. I'm going to have, okay, since nothing spawned over on this side, I think I will just adjust the camera here and we'll do some action away from the spawned zombies. So hang on. All right, since we had nothing spawning over here, I'm going to have Amy go first again. Now, when you're playing uh, solo, uh, you can decide the order uh, of the characters that you are playing. So in a solo game like this, when I'm controlling three characters, I get to decide which of the, you know, which between Ned, Amy, and Doug, which one goes first, which one goes second, which one goes third. If you're playing three separate players, each playing one character, then they would have to go in a very specific turn order. So anyway, I'm just going to have Amy move first. She's got the fire axe. She's, she's going to one, her free move action is here. She has three actions left. So one action, she's going to move here. Two actions, she's going to chop open the door. And with the fire axe, it makes noise. So we add a noise token here. And now we have to see if anything spawns uh, in the building. So I use the same rule. So one to three, something spawns. So I'm going to do this space first and then this one. So in the first space, anything spawns? Nope. And in the second space, does anything spawn? And that's also a no. So she lucked out. So again, to recap, free move here, one action here, two to open the door, and three, she's going to move into the building. Now I'm going to have Doug and Ned, they're just going to follow. So here comes Doug. He's going to go one, two, three. Actually, he's going to stay here because uh, this is a possible spawn point. Not exactly a good place to be standing if zombies spawn. And I'm also going to have... Ned go one, two, and he's going to wait here as well. So now we're back starting with the zombies actions. So hang on, I'll just readjust a bit and we'll get into that. So the first thing that happens in the zombies turn is any zombies that are in the same space as heroes would do an attack, but there are none. So the second step is movement. Now these zombies have a line of sight down here to Doug and Ned, so they will shamble along one space heading down the street and at the end of the zombies turn we must roll again to see if any zombies spawn so using my rules again i'm going to go north east south west and we'll see what happens so north nothing whoops over in the east 
four is nothing in the south four is nothing and over on the west again a six so i didn't get any spawns that time which you know it seems like it's going to be too easy but uh, stay tuned because you never know in this game things can get out of control quickly so i'm just going to readjust the camera once more and we're going to go back to the player actions so here we are back in this area and as you can see it's a pretty fast paced game uh, not really a whole lot of complexity involved i'm going to start off with amy again and because she is now in a building space, she can do a search action. Each uh, character can do one search action per uh, turn. So she's gonna do a search action in there and she finds, oh, that's pretty good, whoops, she finds a ranged weapon. She finds a submachine gun. So I'm gonna add that to her player character card. So now she has a fire ax and a submachine gun. Um, and she's gonna take her free move action to move here. She has two actions left. For one of her actions, she will take the objective token. So that's one of four. Uh, if we get all four of them, the survivors win the game. Now when she does that, her experience level has to go up five places. So I'm just gonna slide her up in the blue. One, two, three, four, five. Still in the blue zone. And she has one action left, I believe, because it was search, free move, objective. So she'll move back out to this space. Now I'm going to do uh, Doug and Ned again, and I forgot, this was supposed to come off the board. The no noise token. Anyhow, we're going to have Doug go 1-2 into the building, and he's going to do a search for his third action, and he finds a crowbar. Okay, so now he has a pistol and a crowbar, and we're going to have Ned go 1-2 moves. Now he gets a free search action, so he'll have one action left after he searches. So this is his free search action. And he finds the goalie mask. And what the goalie mask does is, da damn it's cool. Discard the goalie mask to prevent one wound inflicted to the wearer. So he's gonna be wearing the goalie mask. And the goalie mask doesn't have to be in hand uh, in the active space. So he can use, he can hold two weapons and have the goalie mask in the reserve spot, but it still works as discarding for damage. All right, back to the zombies turn. And now again, none of the zombies are in spaces with the heroes. And now it's zombie movement. Now they're just at the edge of the camera here. I'll just put them up. They are going to move to the most noise. Now the most noise is right here. Each survivor counts as one noise token. And so the shortest distance to them is one, two, three, four. So they're just gonna walk straight down the street and they come shambling right down into the center. And now, we go into spawning. So again, northeast, southwest, very quickly. So in the north, there will be no spawning. In the east, there will. In the south, there will. And in the west, there is not. So this time, east and south is gonna get a spawn. So let's have a look at the spawn cards. First, for the east, and we have, uh-oh, this is now manhole cover card. It means one walker is going to come out of every manhole cover. Now every manhole cover that is um, on a tile that the su survivors are on. So this tile is the only one the survivors are on and this is the only manhole cover on this tile. So we are going to get a walker appearing out of the sewer grate and that's it. So that's the spawn action for the east. Now let's do the spawn action for the south. And that is going to be not too bad, just one walker. So one walker appears down here at the south. And rinse and repeat, we go back now to the character players. So we'll just get right into that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm first up, I'm going to have Amy move. She has a free move action. So the first thing she's going to do is she's just going to step right out here and she has three actions now. She also has, which she just searched and found, she has the submachine gun. It has a range of zero to one, which means you can fire it in the same space you're in or one space away. So she's gonna take a shot at this walker. Now, you roll three dice and you hit on a five plus and it does one damage for the submachine gun. So she gets one six, which is one hit and she blows the walker away. Now, when you blow the walker away, you also increase 
you're experienced by one so now for, she goes to number six she's one away from going to yellow level she also has two actions left now i think i'm going to move her right here to get her out of the spawn zone and as her last action not going to do anything i probably should have searched first anyway too bad i'm going to have doug go next because he has the pistol he's going to go one two he has one action left he's going to fire the pistol into this crowd here and hopefully he can take down one of the walkers uh let's hope he can anyway and he rolls a six which is enough the pistol hits on a four plus and rolls one dice so boom he takes down one of the walkers nice shot and his experience goes up to one so he's gone from zero to one he's still in the blue zone as well now last up is Ned, he's a free search action, so he's just gonna do that right now. He searches and, oh yeah, he finds a sawed off shotgun. Now it rolls two dice, hits on a three plus, and does one damage to each uh, zombie in the space he's shooting into. So that was his free search. He's gonna move one, two, and he's gonna use that sawed off shotgun to shoot into this space here. So he rolls two dice, hits on a three plus, and only does one damage with each dice. So let's see what happens here. So he actually hits with both, which is interesting. So there's a hierarchy of which zombies get hit. Walkers get hit first, uh, then baddies, then runners. And I think that's it. And then abominations, I think, uh, are last. But may, no, I think abominations are the same as the fatties. So this walker gets killed with one of the rolls. The second one actually hits the fatty, but fatties need two damage to actually be taken down. So in fact, he does not go down. So uh, Ned gets one experience. He goes from zero to one. Again, very fast, very light game. You just sort of move around, try to do the objectives. Things happen quickly, uh, as you can see. And now it's going to be the zombies turn. Now there are no zombies in spaces with the heroes. However, they do move. And the one in the south here, hearing most of the noise, and I forgot to put noise tokens in. Submachine gun would have added a noise token. The pistol shot would have added a noise token. And Ned's sawed off shotgun would have added a noise token. So there's a total of six noise here, three for the survivors, three for the shots. And the zombies, first of all, line of sight. He's going to move right in here with the survivors. And this guy's going to come shambling along to the most noise. And now, we, of course, we have the spawning action possibly happening. The end of the zombies turn. So again, north, east, south, west. And here we go to the north. Yes. East. Yes. South. Yeah. And west. Sure, just to top it all off, there's going to be a spawn in every zone. So hang on, let's get, uh, let's get the spawning happening. So I kind of don't have the camera set up perfectly, but anyway, we'll see. So first off in the north, we have, oh, this isn't great. This is the icon for a runner. So we're gonna have one runner, which is little hoodie guys. They look like the, uh, the guys from Left 4 Dead 2. Okay, and I put him up in the north, which is just up here at the spawn zone. Now we're going to do east, and in the east we have, phew, nothing happening. Everyone's in the blue still. Amy's one away from yellow. And in the south, we're going to have two walkers show up. So, right here in the south, two walkers. A couple of lovely female zombies appear. And over in the west, we're going to have one walker appear. So, that's it. That's the end of the turn, and we remove the noise tokens, and we're gonna begin the next turn. We've got one fatty zombie and our three heroes all together. Sorry, survivors. I guess they will be heroes if they make it. Anyway, I'm gonna end the, today's uh, episode here. It's probably gone on long enough. We'll pick it up next time with the survivors going. They have this guy to take out. Now, he needs two damage to take him down. And the only weapon that can do it, uh, that the survivors have right now, is the fire axe. So Amy's going to have to try to take him down with a fire axe. And if that doesn't happen, uh, they're going to be in a little bit of trouble. But anyway, join me next time for, uh, I guess, part two, when we have our survivors. They have one more um, objective token up in the northeast. One more in the building, I think just out of camera range, northwest. And of course, one sitting right here. 
and a few zombies now populating the board. Anyway, join me next time and we'll see if the survivors can get another one of the objective tokens. And then I think we're probably going to be heading into the yellow zone, which means uh, much more danger when the zombies spawn. All right, thank you. And uh, we'll pick it up next episode.